and you have been wont to practice this grateful flow, allow these changes to settle in. Give yourself over to this practice, expecting nothing. To expect nothing is generally the best way. Most of our thoughts and ideas are nonsense anyway. We can certainly not corral and contain divinity in our thoughts. It is best not to try to do so, but rather to leave the playing field open. Openness is best, with no fears and no expectations clouding our practice. This is best. Now, I've put some pauses in here as if time is passing. And so I say then, go and practice. Develop your awareness. Open yourself to the flow of gratitude. And then again, do not be impatient. Be very patient, even loving with yourself. If you are in a rush, you are not fully in the present moment. Practice. Be at peace. Okay, and a few closing words. Okay, you have grown in patience, if nothing else. It is more than that, of course. One cannot give attention to divinity, to the flow of the divine within, and not be changed by it, and not grow in the process. So, you have grown. Own it. Divinity is stronger within you now. Even if you have only just set your intent, this is so. Rejoice in this. Give it a moment. Be grateful for this blessing in your own house, your own self, and life. You have grown. Gratitude is expansive. Its energy is ever to expand and to flow freely. Gratitude expands all it touches. It expands love. For gratitude is a form of love, with a capital L. Gratitude is the recognition of God in action in the awareness, in the world. Gratitude is a gift of vision. It is not a mental quality or blessing. Gratitude is of the heart. It makes use of the mind to notice and to allow, to set an intent, is an activity of the will and the mind. Nonetheless, gratitude is a heart energy. It is a combination of vision and heart, third eye and heart chakra. One cannot be grateful if one cannot see something. One first sees a situation, then gratitude arises. And finally, if you are not experiencing gratitude for the blessings of others, if you are not seeing situations that cause gratitude to arise within your heart, then perhaps your vision is clouded. Then again, if you are seeing these situations, these blessings happening to others, and your heart is not moved, if you are not aware of gratitude arising within upon the seeing of someone else being blessed, then your vision is certainly clouded. Your heart may be as well.